Welcome back to The Colonel Does The Adventures of Bertram Fiddle, Episode 1. We are at the Adventurers Club. Just grabbed ourselves a spot of tea. One cup at a time should be enough. Alright, so let's start talking to some of our colleagues. How do you do, Sir Grouchly? How do you think, Fiddle? Things haven't been the same since I lost my legs in Venice. Constant pain, Fiddle. Constant. Oh, I am sorry. That sounds terrible. You weren't there, man. You weren't there. <laughs> Jesus. This is wrong on so many levels. I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle, you are not permitted into the gold members area. It is for A-list adventurers only. I've never been so outraged. I need to see Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Holmes has asked expressly not to be disturbed as he is working on the dreadful case of Jeff the Murderer. I have my own case I want to talk to him about. I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle, you are not permitted into the gold members area. Very well. Um... Hardwood, how are you? Fiddle, long time no see. Yes, it's been a while. Just telling Melvis here about my latest adventure. Four months in Patagonia. In South America. Discovered a lost world. It was well splendid. Yeah. Found this thing up a crevice. Crevasse. <laughs> so thought I'd bring it back. Don't even know what it is. Got a few ideas. <laughs> Crazy. Prehistoric. <laughs> that was weird. It's a very unique looking creature. Don't touch Fiddle. She bites. Not too keen on being cooped up. You nearly took my elbow off. But if she got out, who knows what she might do? Pandemonium, I expect. Is the lock safe? Safe as houses, Fiddle. Pay top shilling for that beauty. Tea? Have you gone cuckoo? <laughs> um. Lord Rochester has been asleep since 1882. A grisly and gnarled member. I cannot help but reading into things when they make statements like that. <clears throat> All right. Um, you know what? Let's wake him up with a spot of tea. It'll take more than tea to wake him up. <clears throat> All right. Oh, porcupine canopies. A prickly aperitif. All right. So let's try. Oh, I wonder if we can pick the lock with it. to cause a flap <laughs> fly little creature fly Crikey, fiddle you buffoon what have you done Bother and blast come back come back <laughs> to me oh. here I am right behind you guy <laughs> let's go <laughs> Crikey! Oh, yes, that's the spot. What? Lord Craggle Wedge. First man to climb halfway up Mount Everest. It's quite an achievement. Halfway up. Mm, yes. The infamous Jade Griffin. What is this? Ah, Sherlock's private room. No doubt where he works on his important cases. All right, so I guess we got to go in here. Sir Clive Odwing, the world-renowned ornithologist's private chamber. He's left his door ajar. I noticed. <clears throat> oh my god, I think I just went through puberty again. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my lord. A spot of tea. Oh, now I can enter. Oh, oh, oh I can enter both. Uh, let's try... We came here to see 
Sherlock. I win again, Watson. You really are adult. I'm sorry, Holmes. I'm trying. It's just I don't really understand the rules of this game. All your games. <laughs> I'm assuming we're just here to talk to... Oh, you know what? We can give him tea. Looks like his is empty. Hello. Ah, uh, fiddle. What brings you here? Come to bore us with more tales of one of your piffling adventures, have you? No. I'm on a mission to return this bag unto its rightful owner. And who is its rightful owner? That I have yet to ascertain. There are absolutely no clues whatsoever. Have you tried looking in the bag? Ah, I never thought of that. I did, but it wouldn't let me. Oh, oh snap. That's messed the features up. Features have been sliced off expertly with a sharp instrument what? by someone with skill and panache. Aha, this looks like the work of London's most elusive serial killer, Jeff the Murderer. Ha! Good luck finding him, Fiddle. The whole of Scotland Yard hasn't been able to track him down in decades. I rather fancy my luck, Holmes. He can't be that far away. <laughs> you, Fiddle. You couldn't find your own tolly water in the toilet. <laughs> oh. I'll wager you wager you don't even come close. <laughs> if you can find Jeff the murderer, I'll wear a woman's dress and dance the trifling gallop round the streets of Lambeth. I accept, good sir. Nice to see you, Bertram. Shush, Watson. But the... What? Oh. What am I supposed to do here? Wait, didn't I have a nose? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Alright, so I did have a nose. What else do I have? I don't have anything else. Just a nose. Okay, cool. So I guess we're gonna recreate her face. <laughs> I guess. That's quite an extensive collection of books you have there. What are they about? They're mostly about me. Go away, fiddle. But the shush, Watson. Maybe I could make something to calm Sherlock down. How about some tea? More tea. Give me that. Being the world's greatest crook thwarter is thirsty work. Did I lace it with something? I might have an idea of how to find him, Fiddle. Oh. Have you ever heard? Not a word more, Watson. Watson is trying to tell me something. Your teacup is empty. Eh, what a brilliant detective you seem to be. Now make yourself useful and bring me another one. I just did. Go away, fiddle. But the Shush, Watson. You took my Maybe key. I could make something to calm Sherlock oh, down. All right, I got to go back to the bar. All right, what's what's in the globe? Been there, been there, been there, been. Th oh, that's new. <laughs> all right, let's go back to the bar. Hopefully, the dude's still got his. Uh... Yep. Cool. All right. Let's get some more tea. One can never have enough tea. Earl Grey, hot. There we go. Let's do this right. Your teacup is empty. Eh, what a brilliant detective you seem to be. Now make yourself useful and bring me another one. All right. More tea. Give me that. Being the world's greatest crook thwarter is thirsty work. There is more to the Watson talks absolute twaddle. As long as I'm here, you can talk to me. Go away, fiddle. But the Shush, Watson. Maybe I could make something to calm Sherlock down. Maybe I need to go next door. I think. Otherwise, I'd have to make some... Something else. 
Do you mind? Oh my uh, god, terribly, what is sorry. going on here? The door was open and I uh, did never go. Uh, hmm. uh, no. Ooh, down a bit, Sandra. Don't just stand there gawking, man. I'm sure it's nothing I've seen before. <laughs> I I have not seen anything like this before. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, that's just not right. So many levels. Oh, it's like living in an avian paradise. Pick those leaves up from a fellow in Indies. Strong stuff. Good for relaxing. Help yourself. Um, oh. I'll be off then. Be a good fellow and shut the door on your way out. Yes. Great. All right, so we can use that to calm down Sherlock. Nothing else we can do here. Ooh, you've got cold hands. <laughs> Lord. Let's see if yes. this guy can wreak some havoc. If I could. I would, sir. All right, maybe not. Oh, it's like living in an avian paradise. All right, never mind. Let's go back. Give Sherlock items. Ooh. Well, there's. Oh, yes. Okay, I got it. So we get some more tea, One and we put some leaves tea. in the tea. There we go. Doink, doink. Oh my, yeah. that's a potent concoction. There we go. Now we can give that to Sherlock. Then we can have our conversation uninterrupted with uh, with Holmes. Your teacup is empty. Yeah, what a brilliant detective you seem. Now make yourself useful and... All right, shut it. Try this one. It's a special blend. Give me that. Being the world's greatest crook thwarter is thirsty work. What 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 is in this tea? I feel somewhat strange. <laughs> All right. What have you done? Is he dead? Don't worry, Watson. He's just sleeping. Oh, uh, I mean, good. Now, was there something you wanted to tell me? I know you think me silly for saying, but you need to ask the spirits for help. Spirits? What? I am a man of science. I don't believe in such puffery. No, Bertram. They exist. I have seen them with my own two eyes. Sherlock says it was a seagull. But I know it was the spirit of the recently departed. The spirit sometimes lingers on in this realm, especially if it has been wronged. You should help her find peace by collecting the missing body parts. Try and find Count Falchmuckle. Who? He's a gentleman with an acquired taste, but he does have certain connections. I'm sure he can help you on your quest. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> I love it. Seek out those trained in that dark art. Seek out those trained in the dark arts. So we're looking for Snape. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's go. Um, don't think there's anything else left for us in here. So it's Vamos. Have you found out anything yet? Well, madam, I spoke to Sherlock, but he's somewhat occupied right now. Typical. The conceited buffoon. However, I am able to inform you that I, Bertram Fiddle, am now on the case of Jeff the Murderer. And I shan't rest until I find him. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful news. Our readers will be delighted to hear about this. You can tell your readers not to fear. I can be quite sleuthful when I need to be. Here's my news blimp now. I must be off, Mr. Fiddle, but I'm sure I shall see you again. Go I thought she said blip. Mr. Fiddle! 
Wow, she's got a blimp. That's pretty sweet. Hey, upgrade your mustache. A shilling? I'm not paying that. Create immediate whiskery admiration. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Nothing. All right, let's go. Keep going. Hemlock Street. This must be Lord Arthwipe's abode. <laughs> Extra. Extra! Bertram Fiddle on the hunt for Jeff the murderer! That was quick. <gasps> Nevermore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that memories of 1990s, man. With the Raven. WWE! <laughs> I guess WWF back then. Quote the Raven Nevermore. I'm sure that's an actual quote from some literature or something, but that's what I remember it from. Alright, so nothing going on here. I guess we go talk to Lord Arthwipe. Have you heard the news, Fiddle? There's been another murder right under our noses. They say he is the devil himself. Choft! Terrible, isn't it? Terrible? Terrible? You do not know the meaning of the word, Fiddle. Now I, on the other hand, I have done some truly terrible things in my time. Fortunately, <laughs> I am so rich, I am above the law. <laughs> Interesting paintings, your lordship. Are they Dutch? <laughs> Interesting paint. My double headed cobra fiddle. <laughs> Twice as deadly as a normal one. <laughs> okay. I guess that sort of makes sense. Nice doggy. It's not a dog, you fool. It's a wolf beast. Oh, that's an interesting collection of etchings. Oh, that. Tiger cordial fiddle. A most refreshing libation. Do you want some? It puts a spring in your step, fiddle. Makes you feel ten feet tall. Sure. Tiger cordial fiddle. Oh, it puts right, a spring in. <gasps> Is that blood on your carpet? Yes, I I cut myself shaving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, I believe it. Don't touch my saber. Let's see, do we have anything? I guess we, we could show him that. You may encounter a lady Ravisham whilst traipsing around. She has in her possession some photographs that I would rather she did not. I need you to retrieve them for me. If you obtain them successfully, meet me in Lady Ravisham's secret garden, and I will reward you handsomely. But tell no one, Fiddle. No one. I have arranged for my coach to take you there. It is waiting outside. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got nothing left. Alright, cool. All right, so let's go outside to the coach. Ah, Mr. Fiddle, I've been waiting for you. Looking a little green there. Public less than confident. My, news travels fast around here. Would you say my nose looks big in this? Are pickles good for you? Full story inside. Detective Holmes asleep on the job. Public less than confident. My news travel. Would you say my no? <laughs> I love that crier. Oh, Have you Lord. got everything? Once you get in, there's no going back. <laughs> ah! 
never more. <laughs> all right, I'm so easily day. amused. Giddy up! Further entangling. What a peculiar day this is turning out to be. I'm never going to find myself an adventure at this rate. There is no way a man of my caliber should have to work for Mr. Dullsworth. But at least this mission for Lord Arthwine should see us well rewarded. I don't trust him. He has funny eyes. <laughs> He's a very important and extremely well-connected gentleman. If we can impress him, I'm sure he will be able to provide us with some form of adventure. We must hunt down this Jeff the murderer and fast. But the odds are stacked against us. He has eluded all attempts at capture so far and taunts even the greatest detective minds. Imagine the look on Sherlock's face if we were to succeed where he has not. And your wife's dog, sir. And Foofy. I must get him back or Wertha will be furious. We have a saying in Peru. An armadillo never gives up. You're right, Gavin. And neither shall we. Oh, there he is. There he is now. Quick, stop the coach. Don't let him get away again, Gavin. There he is. Curse keys. Behind bars. Where he belongs. He's not... What are you talking about, dude? Oh, damn it! How did he get through there? I don't know, but I think we're going to find out in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. And until the next episode, please do take care. <laughs>